YouTube, what's good, y'all? What's your boy, Breon? Coming to you live from the crib. You know, I'm about to walk my little man, walk my dog and everything. You know what I'm saying? Gotta check out, check him out. It's my homie Cash, man. You know, getting ready to walk out the door. You know, that other stuff, but yeah, let's check out the feats. 270s on deck. Anyway, this is what you can consider a short video. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, boy. <laughs> Trying to hold the camera and also walk the dog at the same time. But um, this is uh, what you can, can consider a short little vlog, short video, and all that. But um, hope everyone had a good day today. My day was all right, you know. It's not like yesterday where it went by quick. It went by a little slower today, you know. It was at work and everything. It got a little tired. But, uh, you know, I just want to share this with everyone on this YouTube page. Make sure y'all, you know, like the page, man. Subscribe, man. Show some love to the page and all that. But, um... You know, like I said, this is like a little, this is a short vlog, but um, I basically want to talk about, you know, certain things as far as people, you know, dwelling on the past and everything. You know, listen, if you're trying to make it in life and you're trying to really put, put yourself out there in your future, you know, and grind, man, listen, don't dwell on the past. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow certain people or negative comments and all this other stuff to bring you down, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people in this world have their own opinions on certain things, man. And, then, and the only thing that matters is how you're gonna react to certain things. You know, I tell people all the time that every reaction, every action that somebody does doesn't really require a reaction to it, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that you're a punk or all this other stuff, but you got to keep in mind that, listen, people are going to talk regardless. People are going to talk to the day you die. People are going to talk while you're in your grave. You know what I'm saying? So just keep grinding and everything and, and all things is possible through God himself. Keep Christ in your life. Keep, 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 you know, positive vibes only. You know what I'm saying? I got a hoodie that has the positive vibes theme on it. Shout out to my sister Gucci. And her, her apparel, you know, she got a little business coming up, and I will definitely talk about that in another video. But uh, I basically want to just, you know, make this little vlog just to show people and also tell people that, you know, you can succeed in life. You can succeed, you know, regardless of the hurt. You know, you got to learn how to forgive those that hurt you. And that's, that's the, that's, one of the most toughest things that anybody could ever do. And the reason being that I say that is because the Bible itself speaks about forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? You can't expect God to do certain things if you don't forgive. You know what I mean? If you don't forgive, how are you going to make it in life? How, how do you expect God to, to bless you? How do you expect God to do all this other stuff? that, oh God, I want to be a millionaire and all this other stuff. And another thing too, another thing too, my, y'all forgive me, it's dark out here. I'm walking the dog, <laughs> trying to hold the camera. But, you know, I tell people all the time that, you know, you want all the finer things in life, but what are you doing for it? You know what I mean? What are you doing to make sure that your family will be financially stable or just you financially stable? And you in your right mind. What are you doing? Are you just sitting back and waiting for things to happen? Are you out here grinding your ass off? You know what I'm saying? Excuse my French on that, but I'm, I'm so serious on that. You got to really grind. You know what I'm saying? You got to really work hard. It's not, it's not, we don't, we don't say, you know, work hard, play hard. You know, hard work pays off and all this other stuff. We don't say that for, for just for, for playing for show. Sure. We say that for a good, you know, a good good foundation in, in all this other stuff, man. When you work hard, you understand? 
everything comes your way. Everything in life, you know, is 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 not always peaches and cream, but everything will be a little more easier if you grind. You know what I'm saying? If you work to 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 a better understanding in life. If you work to 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 make sure that that okay, I could be able to to provide for my family. I could be able to help others. I could be able to do the things that I want to do in life, be able to travel. But you got to work for it. Don't just sit around and wait for it. Work for it. And I tell people all this all the time, too. Meet God halfway. You know what I mean? Meet him halfway. Because everything comes through prayer and fasting, but it also comes through work. A man that don't work, that don't eat. You know what I'm saying? A man that don't work, don't eat. So, So what are you doing? Are you really just sitting there? You know, once again, are you really just sitting there? Or are you going to grind? And another thing, too, don't allow... My dog is... <laughs> so now, boy. But, you know, don't allow people to get, get you know, get, 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 you know, get the best of you. Don't. Because if you fall short, then you're giving them exactly what, you, what they want. You know what I mean? You know, you're giving them exactly what they wanted. They want you to act up. They want you to show, show, show yourself off and all this other stuff. They want that. You know what I mean? But you can't, you can't allow that. You can't allow people to get, you know, the best of you. You have to grind. You have to mind your business and hold your tongue. Hold your tongue. You know what I mean? When you hold your tongue, man, it's not, like I said, it's not making you a punk. A punk. Excuse me. It's, it's, it's making sure and it's showing people that, yo, I don't care what y'all say. Y'all could talk about me, but at the end of the day, I'm going to make my money. I'm going to make my bread. You know what I mean? I'm going to make my bread. And, and the more y'all talk about me, the more that I'm on y'all mind. You know, that's the mindset that you need to have. That's the positive vibe that you need to have. You know, stay away from negative people. If you know people like to start messing, like to 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 condone foolishness, stay away. Stay away. You know, and speaking of that, let me show y'all this. So last year we had a whole tree here that was like like all the way up to that light there and it done tore up the sidewalk. You know what I mean? They done tore up the sidewalk and all this other stuff. Look at that. Really want y'all to see that. Really want y'all to see that. Done tore up the sidewalk. Whole tree fell, man. And, and, and take this into consideration too. Take this into consideration too as, as to what I was saying. Some things needs to fall because certain things need to come back in place. You get what I'm saying? This sidewalk is, is all crooked and stuff, but once they clear that, everything up, it'll come back to its original foundation will look straight. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta really, you gotta really treat people that way. If you know for a fact that they're going to condone foolishness, you know, let them fall, let them fall until they get themselves straightened out. You know what I'm saying? To, so, so remove yourself. Take, like I said, take that for example. If you know for a fact that that's broken, you know, or, or it's not the foundation is, is it's not in place, don't walk over that because you know for a fact that is a possibility that you might get yourself hurt. So you got to really treat your, treat people that way too. You know, you tell people this too, like yo, listen. I told my brother, you know, we had had a strong conversation, and he was like. Oh, why are people always saying, oh, you, you act funny and all this other stuff. You don't never show up and all this other stuff. But, but you know, you want other people to do things for you. But listen, and I, and I told him this. Y'all check this out. I told him that you got to let people know that your timing is different from them. It has nothing to do that you don't want to be with them. You don't want to hang out and all this other stuff. You could check up on them. As much as they as they could check up on you, but if you know that you're you're getting yourself together, never apologize for that. Never apologize that you're trying to get yourself together. 
Your timing is different. You working on you. You understand what I'm saying? And God gave us freedom of speech for a reason. He gave us a tongue for a reason. He gave us a, the ability to make sure that everything is right. You understand? It, it, the Bible speaks about making sure that your home is, is taken care of, that your home is clean. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what we got to do. We got to make sure, we got to make sure that our, ourselves is, is legit. You understand? That we are, that, that we're okay. You understand? We're getting our stuff together. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. And this is the new year. This is 2020. You know, if you ain't got no time for no foolishness and you trying to make ends meet, grind, yo. Work hard. You know what I'm saying? Work hard till you make it. You understand? Don't fake it till you make it. Just make it. You understand what I'm saying? Make it done. You understand? Make it plain. Write your vision and make it plain. You want to be able to, to, to drive all these nice cars and all this other stuff? Listen, do your credit. Save, save, save your bread. You understand? Make sacrifices, man. Don't always go out to eat and all this other stuff. And don't show yourself. You understand? Don't show yourself in front of everybody to make it, you know, make it seem like you're, oh, I'm all right. Nah, you understand? Everybody don't need to know your business. That's another thing, too. Everybody don't need to know your business. You understand? You keep yourself, keep yourself to yourself. And then when you realize that, you, all right, I'm where I need to be, then you can hang out. Then you can do all this other stuff. You understand? <coughs> Excuse me. You understand? I tell people all the time, I go out to eat every now and then. Not all the time. Because there's certain things that I need to do with my blood. You know what I'm saying? Certain things that I need to invest in. You know, and then I say this to all the young entrepreneurs out there too. If you got a business, don't give up. Who cares? Don't, don't you know who cares what people say? Things gonna start off slow. Things not gonna be up and running as quick as you want it to. You understand? It takes time. Take your time. You know, learn yourself. You get what I'm saying? Learn your surroundings. Don't ever don't invite everybody into your team, into your circle. Because everybody that, that could be in your circle and on your side could be haters. You know? You know what I'm saying? But just don't give up. Don't give up. Don't put your all and your trust into everybody. You understand? Don't do that. Because some of these people are snakes. Some of these people are jealous. You know? But you got to have a good eye. And to see all right, who's there for me and who's not. And then once you find out who's there for you and who's not, trust me, everything will go a lot smoother. But uh, I just wanted to do this little vlog real quick, you know, just, just to encourage. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got more videos to come, more stuff to come, you know, to show y'all, man. I'm also a funny dude, too. So, <laughs> you know, I like to be, I like to have fun. And, and hopefully, hopefully... Me and my family, we do another bowling joint. Y'all definitely see how I get down, man. I'm hilarious when it comes to the bowling joint. I love bowling. You know, and anybody out there that want to holler at me with the bowling stuff, man, y'all definitely hit me up, man. But listen, man, if this video was a blessing to y'all, y'all post your likes and your comments on this page, man. Show, show your boy some love, man. You know, if, hit, hit, you know, definitely, definitely show some love, y'all. You know, I'm trying my best with these videos, man. And, and I will be doing more encouraging videos, too. You know, it's not going to just be about just me, my wife, my family. You know, it's other stuff. But I would definitely be doing some encouragement. Because I feel like a lot of people need that in the world. You understand? A lot of people is hurting. A lot of people don't have a lot of people to say, oh, you're doing the right thing. But you got to do also do this. A lot of people don't have that. But... We'll talk about that in the next time, another time. You know what I'm saying? But once again, y'all definitely post your likes, post your comments on this page, on this video, man. Show your boy some love. And I'll definitely see y'all soon, man. It's your boy, Brio. Peace out, y'all. One love.